welcome back to TCS NQT verbal second segment in this segment we gonna discuss questions that would test your vocabulary skills and we about to discuss question types on vocabulary there are a few beginning with synonyms antonyms clause passages and sentence completion of these three prominent question types, the first one, synonyms and antonyms, is slightly challenging because unless you know the meaning of a word, it's very difficult for you to answer it. And largely in terms of clues, it's very much limited. Probably you can rely on prefix, suffix, you can rely on etymological approach, but whatever being said, when it comes to words being tested, especially in the form of synonyms or antonyms, it's very, very vast and within a short time, it's very difficult to discuss all possible words. Rather, on clause passages and sentence completion, it is possible to answer a couple of questions, if not all, through the help of the context. Thereby, I prefer to dwell on these two question types, clause passages and sentence completion, under the belief that even if your vocabulary is limited, it is possible to answer a few more questions, say 60 to 70 percent. So from my talk itself, you can understand through these two question types, clause passages and sentence completion, you would get questions that would test you on both structure and context. In other words, grammar and vocabulary. In such cases, how to answer the questions is what the entire discussion is all about. This is clause passage one. I'm about to deal with three different formats that a clause passage can have. This is format one and this is the most familiar format wherein you will be given a passage with minimum five blanks to max 10 or 15 blanks and wherein each blank will give you options like A, B, C, D or whatever the case is. This is the most common format for clause passage. While you are on such clause passages, for that matter, in any format of clause passage, I would advise you to follow these steps. Step one is to read the entire text. Though the given clause passage has lot many blanks, do read the entire text and that will give you a rough idea about the theme of the given clause passage and the second step would be to focus both on the previous and the following segments for each blank as you do you would get an idea about whether the blank is about to test you on the structure or on the context and third step is to predict as much as possible if your reading is of average quality definitely for about or approximately 25 to 30 percent of questions either on structure or on the context can be guessed by you that is your reading itself will enable you to guess what could be the word for the blank so third step is pretty much vital probably when i insist on these three steps it underlines the fact that you need to practice a lot and probably by practicing a lot you can easily answer these questions now to the first set clause passage one step one my advice is to read the entire text many of us believe that science is something modern dash the truth is that dash has been using science for dash very long time however it has dash a greater effect on human lives in the last 25 or 30 years dash in the hundreds of years dash the invention of the plow the dash gifts of science have made modern life dash and comfortable 
but science has dashed at the same time created new problems. While you read the entire text, as I promised, the text will give you a rough idea about the theme and the theme of this clause is science and its benefits. So that will help you to a certain extent in getting the answers. But further, let's try to focus on every single sentence in the clause and try to gather some clues. Let's start with the first sentence. Many of us believe that science is something modern, comma, the truth is that. Dash has been using science for dash very long time. So the first sentence is about to convey that science is not modern. If you could understand this sense, then guessing the word for blank one, two and three becomes much simpler. Many of us believe that science is something modern, dash the truth. Therefore, the word for blank one should provide a contrast. It is it is about to say that it is not modern. So the guess for blank one is a word that must provide a contrast. With this idea, when we look at the three options provided, we would easily pick option B as the answer. The word for blank one is though. Many of us believe that science is something modern, though the truth is that Dash has been using science for Dash very long time. As you read, maybe unconsciously you would provide a word for third blank because that is that simple. It is the word for the third blank for a very long time. So we are able to get the right answer for blank one and blank three. Probably looking at the blank two, the truth is that Das has been using science. Now, Das has been using science. Who would be using science? Obviously, the people or the public, right? So, the guess for the second blank wouldn't take much time. But there is a slightly nuanced fact being tested. Here, option A, men, option B, people, and option C, man. So, which means the option still carries both singular and plural form, which means we should look at the structural clue as well. Das has been. So this is an indication for singular verb, which means the word for the blank should take a singular noun. Thereby, we can easily eliminate men. We can easily eliminate people because people also would take a plural form. Thereby, the right option for second blank is option C, man. Man has been using science for a very long time. Now, second sentence. However, it has dashed a greater effect on human lives the last 25 or 30 years, dash in the hundreds of years, dash the invention of the plow. So there has been a slight emphasis. If you could observe, you can easily understand how it has dash a greater effect on human lives in the last 25 30 years probably immediately if you find it difficult to guess the word for blank four hold it on for a while move on in the last 25 30 years dash in the hundreds of years so comparatively this segment gains more prominence that is going by the context let's look at the word in for blank five option a is more option b is than option c is either so it can't be either because we're not discussing either or moreover 25 30 years have been given so it cannot be option c since there is a comparison involved greater effect the right choice for blank five is than than in the hundreds of years dash the invention of the plow from the very structure itself you would, it wouldn't take that much time for you to pick c since the invention of the plow. So while you look at this structure, this will give you a clear idea that the tense being used here is present perfect. If I choose the verb as right, we know right, wrote will be its past tense and written will be the past participle. The present perfect tense verb pattern is Either it will be have written or has written. Look here, 
it has dash a greater effect so this sentence involves a present perfect tense looking at the options has have had very easily you could eliminate has it can't be has has and the right option is had because the word have as a main verb is being used right so have present tense form had past tense and had past participle if have is used as a main verb then we would say has had or have had it has had a greater effect answer for fourth blank is option c it has had a greater effect on human lives the last 25 or 30 years than in the hundreds of years since the invention of the plow the the dash gifts of science have made modern life dash uncomfortable from the sentence itself we can understand the word for blank 8 and blank 7 must be a positive word because you have an adjective comfortable so the gifts of science must be positive gifts of science as well as have made modern life the you are discussing the gifts this also must be positive with that idea if you look on to the options provided it would take it wouldn't take much time for us to pick option b marvelous for blank seven and again option b exciting for blank eight the marvelous gifts of science have made modern life exciting and comfortable but this is a contrast but science has dash at the same time created no pro created new problems within no time you would you would provide the word while you read itself but science has at the same time or in picking the option a for ninth black so roughly speaking for this clause blank three and blank nine are much much simpler as i said predicting the word for blank three and blank nine are much simpler because as you happen to read the clause passage carefully you are bound to supply a word unknowingly to that extent these two are simple and of all the blanks blank four is the most challenging one that with little amount of practice you can easily guess the words so this is how clause passages are solved and one common presumption prevailing now for tcs nqt english segment is concerned that many are expecting the clause passages to occur because last time it happened thereby out of 15 questions at least you could expect one clause passage so practice more questions using these steps now i'd like to introduce you to another clause passage with a different format step one is to read the entire clause clinical practiceness dash integrated mindfulness dash treatment of dash host of emotional and behavioral disorders dash borderline personality disorder major depression chronic pain or eating disorders number of such practitioners dash increased substantially while reading the entire text unlike the previous one you would find it difficult to get the or grasp the entire essence it's natural because it's slightly challenging one in such cases look for structural clues now i like to give you additional point this clause passage has a different format unlike the previous one in the previous case each blank provided you options in this case you have been provided options for the entire words for the blanks logically speaking this format is rather simpler i would say because instead of struggling for each and every blank pick clue for any one structural clue you can much you can be very much closer to the right choice and the, this consumes less time note it this sort of format consumes less time therefore you can expect this format as well if it happens how to proceed there are just two sentences and in the first sentence which begins which begins with clinical practitioners and ends with eating disorders there isn't much a structural clue 
Look at the last sentence, the second sentence. Number of such practitioners dash increase substantially. If you could recall the tips which you learned in the previous segment when I discussed spotting errors, I said when you're on a lengthy noun phrase or when you have a phrase comprising both singular and plural noun, we will always consider the first noun into account. If need be, you can revisit the previous edition of part one of TCS NQT verbal of mine and you can understand the logic better because I explained the logic with the example. Well, there is a lengthy phrase comprising both singular and plural noun. The first noun will be taken into account. If the first noun is singular, verb will be singular. Here, the first noun is number and it is singular. Thereby, we can easily eliminate option A and option D within a single stroke. The word for the last blank must be singular. So, which helps us to eliminate option A and B and we are left with option B and option C and giving it a second look you will understand here the text doesn't deal with past tense. Clinical practitioners where integrated mindfulness can't be because had it been past tense there must be a time indicator there is no such time indicator we would give preference to present tense thereby the right choice is option C. If you happen to get this format, you would really enjoy solving these questions. I like to introduce to another possible format of clause passage, wherein you will be given a text, and instead of giving options, probably uh, you'll be given a couple of words closer to each blank, and you would be provided a link so that if you click on the link, the word for the blank will be chosen. If you happen to have this format, probably you have to again adopt the same approach. Step one is to read the entire text. Step two is to focus on the previous and the following segments. And step three is to predict as much as possible. Try it out. Step one, Galileo was the first astronomer to use a telescope with an instrument of his own dash. Galileo observed Jupiter and four of the dash moons, the faces of Venus and the spots on the sun. His dash and calculations confirmed that Copernicus and Kepler were right. Galileo dash made some important discoveries in mechanics. He did not dash, drop cannonballs from the leaning tower of Pisa, dash that all bodies followed the same dash speed. Follow the, see, it happens. As you read, you are able to provide a word for the blank with your casual reading itself. So the word for this blank is same at the same speed. Galileo also noticed the regular dash of the lamps in Pisa Cathedral. Dash gave him the idea of the pendulum, a device that enabled him to make the clock a scientific instrument for the first time. Well, now let's try to identify the answer. Galileo was the first astronomer to use a telescope with an instrument of his own dash. With an instrument of his own, Galileo observed Jupiter. So, which means with an instrument of his, he can't be own experiment because you're talking about an instrument. So, you can very easily pick the word construction. With an instrument of his own construction, Galileo observed Jupiter and four of dash moons it must be Jupiter's moons and this means the word its. Jupiter and four of its moons, the phases of Venus and the spots on the sun. His, the second simplest blank for this exercise, his observations and calculations because this has given us an idea. If this is a noun, this also must be a noun. The other one is adjective and verb can't be. So, his observations and calculations confirm that Copernicus and Kepler were right. Galileo dash made some important discoveries. So, the this sentence gives an idea that in addition to, which means also. Galileo also made some important discoveries. That is, in addition to the calculations or in addition to the agreement with Copernicus and Kepler's findings, Galileo also did something. That's what the sentence is about to convey. Therefore, the 
word should be also. Galileo also made some important discoveries in mechanics. He did not dash drop cannonballs from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Which could be the answer? As legend, as stories, as people say. Which could be right? Legend that usually deals with folk tales or any, any stories which has no proof. That's why when we used to say legend or story. So this can't be. The answer is he did not, as people say, drop cannonballs from the Leaning Tower of Pisa, dash that all bodies fall at the same rate. Already the main verb has been, has occurred here. He did not, as people say, this is the main verb, thereby there, there is no need for another verb here. Therefore, it should be to prove. He did not, as people say, drop cannonballs from the Leaning Tower of Pisa, to prove that all bodies follow the same speed, Galileo also noticed the regular dash of the lamps in the Pisa Cathedral. Regular swinging of the lamps in Pisa Cathedral dash gave him the idea of the pendulum. Number of practitioners wherein we counted the first known into consideration. Similarly, the regular swinging of the lamps, again and another example of a noun phrase swinging is the first noun here thereby the right choice for this plank is this this gave him the idea of the pendulum a device that enabled him to make the clock a scientific instrument for the first time largely to a maximum extent the same idea will occur again and again especially of which the subject verb agreement is one thing which recurs most of the time. So please be aware of that fact. Try to gather clues and with that you can very easily solve questions on clause passages. Now I'd like to introduce to another question type sentence completion. Sentence completion exercises wherein you will be given one sentence with either one blank or two blanks followed by four options. If you want to have information, if you want to understand the approach, I advise you to watch my video on sentence completion. It is available in my app. Download the app, Aptitude Buster, and you can watch the video on sentence completion to understand the steps. If you haven't watched it, I strongly advise you to watch it because I will proceed further with a presumption that you already gone through it so that you can easily grasp the way these questions have to be approached and most importantly how you could save time step one is to hide the choices we will not look at the choices step two is to read the sentence and step three is to predict a word for the blank let's try to predict a word for the blank based on the contextual clue provided in the sentence even though formidable winters of the norm in the Decatos, many people were unprepared for the dash of the blizzard. I like to take you through logical way. Trying, let's try to break the sentence in terms of the structural clues. Even though formidable winters are the norm in the Decatos. From the first second we can understand the word Decatos refers to a place and it won't take that much time because 